In South Dakota, it is still currently illegal to ingest, possess, consume, distribute, regardless of if you are doing it for recreational purposes, if you're doing it for medicinal purposes. At this point, uh, the law is uniform in South Dakota for everyone in that uh, no one can legally consume marijuana. So it's common for us to cite or charge people for not only possessing it, having a bag or some form of it in their possession, uh, but also for ingesting, for consuming it, even if they came from out of state and they come to South Dakota, if it's still in their system when they're in South Dakota, it's still illegal here. I think it always creates difficulty and challenges when you have uh, laws that can be so different from state to state uh, regarding one substance or laws that had at one time been uniform and have now uh, deviated from that. I can tell you that law enforcement and prosecutors in South Dakota will continue to uphold the laws of South Dakota, uh, whatever those may be, whatever the legislators of South Dakota determine those laws should be, uh, including any changes that would be made. Uh, we will follow the laws as written. I'm sure if a change is made regarding medical marijuana, uh, it would no doubt go to the courts at some point uh, and be challenged in the South Dakota Supreme Court, if not higher courts. And uh, we will wait to see what that outcome would be. But uh, essentially, we follow the laws as written. So if uh, there's a change that's determined, uh, we would follow that, and then, and then if the courts make a decision on the interpretation of any changed law, we would follow the outcome of that. I do think it becomes a challenge and a frustration, not only to law enforcement and prosecutors, but also to citizens when you have such deviations uh, with laws from state to state. Uh, we have many individuals that are in one state and something is not illegal, such as the use of marijuana, and then they come within South Dakota and it is illegal here. Uh, so ideally, in the realm of the law, uh, it's always uh, easier for all involved if you have some uniformity, however that might come about. We've certainly seen an increase since Colorado legalized. Uh, we have a lot of individuals that tend to go back and forth between South Dakota and Colorado. Uh, I would say with Minnesota, that's still fairly new, so we haven't seen, at least down in Brookings, we haven't seen that influx yet, uh, but I'm sure it will come. And essentially, we just take them case by case and if they have violated the laws of South Dakota, an individual would be treated accordingly, regardless of what the law in another state might be. At this point, our role is to uphold the South Dakota laws as they are written, and that's what I know law enforcement and state's attorneys in South Dakota will continue to do.